Thank you so much. The Lord bless Rashad for his faithfulness. He has been here every single service, and he is so available. And I know years ago, Rashad, one of the sisters, she was a, a pastor. She was her husband. Her husband was pastor, and she was uh, she co-pastored with him. And she told me her name was Sister Anna Mae Young. She was very stoic. And she said, when I announced my call, she said, Sister, it is not your ability. It is in your availability that God will use you. And she was the silliest thing on earth, but she was so stoic when she preached. But anyway, uh, I really say that to you, Rashad. God is going to bless you for your availability. Thank you so much for your willingness. All right, everybody. Now we're going to mute the mics. Let me see if I did it already. Okay, yes, they're all muted. Good. Now, I would like you to turn with me to Philippians. Philippians chapter 4, starting at verse... Eight. All right. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. I'm going to leave you right there. That's the mindset we're dealing with right now. Think on these things. Now we're going to go to Luke chapter 6. Now we got a lot of reading to do, so I hope you can bear with me because God's word is rich if we don't fall asleep on it. <clears throat> All right, verse 27, this is Luke chapter 6. Everybody have it? Wave at me. Good. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies. <laughs> it's going to be kind of rough, y'all. Love your enemies. Do good to them which hate you. Hmm. Bless them that curse you and pray for them that despitefully use you. And unto him that smiteth thee on one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy cloak, thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee. And of him that taketh away thy goods, Ask them not again. And as ye as, as ye would that men should do unto you. Let me paraphrase that. As you want people to treat you. All right. Do ye also to them likewise. For if ye love them which love you. What thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. Think about it. <laughs> I'm going to go down to. I got to read the whole thing. I'm sorry. And if ye lend to them whom ye hope to receive, what thank have ye for sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again? But love your enemies and do good and lend, hoping nothing in return. And your, excuse me, nothing again, and your reward shall be great. Ye shall be like the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the thankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. 
Now, we're going to stop there right now because that, that's a handful. <laughs> that's a whole lot easier read than done. Now, a lot of times we don't realize when we are operating, trying to live close to God, we don't always realize the demands he places on us. See, we are always quick to say, well, you know, I'm human. That's me. I'm being real. But guess what? God is not looking for you to be real when it comes to your flesh. He's looking for you to be holy in the spirit realm. Now, when you operate in the spirit, people who don't believe in God or who have their doubts start becoming convinced because, listen, sometimes you will be the only Bible that people read. You will be the only gospel that people see. And if you don't walk like Jesus, talk like Jesus, act like Jesus, guess what? They're going to write you off, baby, and say, yep, see, I told you, nothing but a bunch of hypocrites. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nothing but a bunch of hypocrites. But let me tell you, even when you're going through trouble, God knows what you're going through. He will not put on you more than you can bear. But even when you're going through trouble, even that has to be dealt with in the spirit rather than in the flesh. And we're quick to go back to our fleshly ways because we've done that all of our lives. We're used to having adult temper tantrums. We're used to having hissy fits. We're used to going off, giving people a piece of our mind and being proud of it. But listen, God knows when you're going through. He knows when the pressure is on you. But you do not have to go through it with your flesh.